hello friends welcome back to student blog uh, this is my 22nd video for vm horizon dm which is formerly known as uh, vmware user environment manager so in this video we will be installing uh, uh, dm console so like in our previous videos like we have seen uh, like we are configured two folders which require for dm to work so like a le let's have a uh, flashback so here we have created dm config file folder and we have shared it and once we shared it like we go to advanced check the permissions everyone is having change and read permissions after that we went to security advanced we have added domain admins and given full access uh, and applies to this folder subfolder and files then we have added end user group for which uh, we have selected this folder subfolder and files and we have selected read execute list, uh, list folder contain read so and all uh, these are all the which we selected and uh, one is like uh, authenticated users we have added for which uh, allowed this folder subfolder and files and we have selected only read write list and uh, read apart <coughs> and uh, all the defaults so and we have created one more that is uh, user profiles uh, folder and we have shared it same thing we have done like uh, for uh, users mm, we have given permissions as well as <coughs> in security like we have we have added a VDA or on in the advance like we have added domain admins we have given full permissions end users we have added and uh, special permissions like this uh, we have given this folder only and we have created provided create folder and append data permissions and read permission so and uh, for authenticated users uh, we have given create folder and append data permissions and this folder only so these are the permissions we have given and we have set it this is done and now we'll go to uh, c temp where i copied the tm x64 client so we'll run it so click next accept next uh, this is the path next here this time we'll select custom and uh, this time what we'll do is like we'll install the console and we'll disable this one we don't want this and click next install yes that's it and this is finished so the prerequisites for this is like a user account with uh, admin privileges uh, installer we need to download it from VMware site and the operating system should be compatible internet uh, access if require anything uh, digital signatures anything it for that internet access and uh, the two configuration files which we we were discussing and uh, this is done so let's see console is ready so we are able to open it so when you open it it instantly asks for the path for the configuration files so i just put it here for our handy purpose so I just copy the instead of like we have created two one is the dm config and one is the user profiler so just paste this one and uh, click ok so select the defaults so going forward we will be working on configuring the things all like configuration easy start everything will work user environment here is the folder path <coughs> folder <coughs> redirection path where we will add like a like, couple of options we will be working on so after this like uh, the next step is like we will be uh, 
we'll be working on uh, initial configuration using Active Directory group policy objects where uh, like uh, we'll copy the templates EDMX files to the group policy f uh, where we like uh, we will discussing on uh, where we will be copying it and uh, after that we'll be discussing on uh, creating group policy everything uh, these all will be discussing on our next video so once this is done like we will see uh, the path where we uh, like uh, we have created the user profiles once user logs in once we configure the group policy everything you will be able to see the users login about their profiles lo copying here or loading here with all details their archive archive folder their <coughs> documents everything will be listed here so in before we configure the DEM like you are able to see it is empty now you are able to see profile configuration files and XML files all stuff it's there slowly all the files will be loaded now so now the management console installation is done so that's all for this video and uh, for any suggestions and queries please do reach out to me on vstudentblog at gmail.com and please do subscribe like my videos thank you bye bye